Before we move further, let's recap what we have done so far. We have successfully installed a hypervisor on our laptop or desktop PC which was running Windows computer. In your case, it can be different. After that, we installed Server 1 and Server 2 with CentOS 7 machines. Then we configured networking and shared storage. In the networking context, we had three network cards. One was bridge and the other two were private network cards, which we configured to 10.10.10.0 forward slash 24 subnet. On server one, we assigned dot 10 and dot 11 to the first and second card respectively. On server two, however, we assigned dot 20 and dot 21. Then we made sure both of these servers could ping each other with the IP address as well as with their host names. 